Tesla released the refreshed Model S and refreshed Model X. AI replaces turning stock and gear selector, rectangular steering wheel and plaid powertrain. Tesla has released the refreshed Model S and X with the plaid powertrain. The new vehicles come with several changes to the powertrain interior and functionality. And in this report, I'm going to tell you what are the new changes in the refreshed Tesla Model S and Model X. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here for the first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla and electric vehicle news analysis and ring the notification bell so you don't miss my next Tesla coverage. Our Tesla reporter at TorqueNews.com, Tinsai Arigai, has the details of the new refreshed Tesla Model S and Model X, talking about the changes and what has been refreshed. Tesla, after much anticipation, has finally released a refreshed Model S and Model X. In addition, the electric vehicle maker has also gone away with the performance models of the vehicles and replaced them with a tri-motor all-wheel drive plug variant. The vehicles, Tesla, the refreshed Model S and Model X, with, uh, come with a whole new interior with a horizontal touchscreen, a rectangular steering wheel, a screen for passengers in the rear seats, and an overall new look. The new interior has also gone away with gear stalks and turns stalks and replaced them with a predictive system that automatically detects obstacles and that can be overridden by the touchscreen. In fact, Hallmark Cadillac, who has been regularly uh, providing news on Tesla, tweeted on January 28 yesterday saying no gear shifter, no turn signal, no problem. And to that, Elon Musk responded saying no more stocks. Car guesses drive direction based on what obstacles it sees. Context and navigation map. You can override on touchscreen. Car guesses drive direction based on what obstacles it sees. Wow. This is interesting, isn't it? Let me know, friends, what you think about this in the comment section below. But in the meantime, we continue saying that the air vents uh, of the refreshed Model S and Model X have been refreshed and now look similar to the ones in the Model 3 and Tesla Model Y. The center console also resembles that of the new look of the Model 3. The exterior of the vehicle has seen minor changes. The air intake is slightly bigger, the body seems slightly wider, and the front fascia is slightly sleeker. But overall, it keeps the basic classic lines in vehicle debuted with. That's how the, the vehicle debuted. So the plaid versions of the Model S and Model X also come with a significant performance upgrade. The Plaid Model S now has uh, 1,020 horsepower. It can do 0 to 60 in less than 1.99 seconds. So let's say under 2 seconds, 0 to 60 acceleration. However, Tesla, for the past couple of years, has already held the mantle of the fastest accelerating vehicle from 0 to 60. What is much more impressive is the quarter mile time. The Plaid Model S can do the quarter mile in 9.3 seconds. This makes the Plaid Model S the fastest production vehicle in a quarter mile. Vehicles uh, it is living in the rear view mirror are multi-million dollar two-door hypercars such as the Porsche 918, 918 Spider and the Bugatti uh, Chiron and amazing sports cars such as the Porsche 911, Turbo S and the Lamborghini Huracan Performance. In addition to the acceleration times, the Plaid Model S has also gotten an upgrade to the top speed. Flat out the Plaid Model S can reach 200 miles per hour. As for the Plaid Model X, it also gets an impressive 0 to 60 time of 2.5 seconds. This is really very um, impressive. This makes it a 7-seat SUV that is as quick as the Bugatti Veyron. 
Tesla didn't release the quarter mile time for the Model X and uh, the top speed remains at the more reasonable 163 miles per hour. But who can use that in the United States? Tesla has now also added a heat pump to the refreshed Model S and Model X. According to the electric vehicle maker, this will allow the vehicles uh, five times more high speed runs on the truck than the previous iteration of the vehicle. The heat pump will also help in cold climate range loss, which is a very good news for those who have range anxiety. The range of the vehicles has slightly improved, but Tesla seems to be saving the 520 mile EPA range for the top of the line Plaid Plus model. The Plaid Plus model, uh, unlike the regular Plaid, which will be delivered next month, will come at the end of 2021. So what do you think, friends? As you Are you excited about the refreshed Model S and Model X? Are you excited about the changes that Tesla did in this flat Model S and Model X? How about the new interior? Do you like it? Uh, did Tesla go too far with the rectangular steering wheel and removing the gear selector and turn stock? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below, please. I was looking in the media and, uh, for example, uh, Robert Doffer, in the, who is the senior editor, at the car connector um, is saying that the Model S Plat Plus undercuts Lucid Air's top version, Lucid Air's top version at just below $140,000 and it will not be available until late 2021. There are two less expensive options for the new model year expected in the first quarter of this year. The American-made electric vehicle maker has been characteristically reluctant to shake key details such as the battery pack size and even the model year. The Tamer uh, uh, 1020 or 1020 horsepower plot model, which itself follows the cheeky naming of hyperspeed, moves uh, from the Mel Brooks spoof uh, masterpiece Space Balls, has the same tri-motor all-wheel drive setup with a 390 mile range, a 0 to 60 with uh, 1.99 seconds like I said, and the same 200 miles per hour top speed as the Plat Plus. It costs just under $120,000. The entry level Model S long range is quicker than most other performance sedans out there for a similar price. For under $80,000, it has a dual motor setup with one motor on either axle for all-wheel drive that hits 60 miles per hour in 3.1 seconds and has an estimated 412 miles range and a top speed of 155 miles per hour. The Model X three-row SUV um, adopts the same changes as the long range and plat version of the Model S. Um, the most jolting difference in the new Model S might come from inside the cabin, like I said a little bit ago, um, not the propulsion sources that booked it. Tesla reoriented its large 17-inch touchscreen that serves as a hub for all vehicle functions from navigating and climate settings to adjusting the side mirrors from a portrait orientation to a landscape orientation, which is very interesting, same as the Model 3 compact sedan. According to images supplied by Tesla, the Model S and Model X SUV comes with a new steering wheel modeled, modeled after the yokes used in aircraft control system columns, as well as uh, arcade games from the 1980s. The flat button curls into uh, the flat button curls into two side handles, uh, while the top remains open. Deliveries of the long range and plat versions of Tesla Model S and Model X are planned in March, which is very ex exciting. Uh, well, friends, there are a couple of other interesting news that came out from Tesla's uh, <clears throat> uh, 
uh, call. Uh, Tesla didn't provide any update during its fourth quarter call on the Cybertruck or about its Austin, Texas plant, which was kind of amazing, uh, actually uh, surprising. Uh, and which, uh, but the Cybertruck is expected to produce um, uh, actually the plant which will produce the Cybertruck um, plus the Model Y for the eastern half of the United States. That's what Austin Gigafactory is going to do. And Tesla didn't provide any update during this last call. The update did, however, confirm that the company, as I reported yesterday, will deliver its first semi truck by the end of the year, uh, the 2021. It'll be delayed. Tesla reported that it produced 179,757 vehicles in the fourth quarter. Um, uh, of 2020 and 509,737 vehicles in all of 2020. As it hinted in its preliminary update earlier in the month, it also noted that despite delivering nearly 140,000 vehicles in quarter four of 2020, Tesla just missed its target of 500,000 total deliveries for the year. The company continues to grow its supercharger, fast charging network and its sales footprint to to support the sale expansion. By the end of 2020, Tesla had quietly increased the number of supercharger stations and connectors versus end of the year 2019 by 41% and 45% respectively. And despite CEO Elon Musk's announcement in 2019 that it would be closing stores, Tesla increased the total number of store and service locations by 21% to 520 in 2020 versus 2019. Well, friends, let me know your thoughts about the Model S and Model X refreshments, the plot versions, and uh, do you like the gear shifter and not, not having turn signals? And uh, yeah, in the meantime, this is Armin Haryan from torquenews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla and electric vehicle news analysis and ring the notification bell for uh, daily Tesla and EV news reports. Have a wonderful rest of the day. God bless you, everyone, and see you soon in our next report.